We're tracking for you. New tonight, medical health professionals say we are headed down a path no one wanted, especially with the COVID vaccine available. And they say the pandemic is taking its toll on our caregivers. Roxana Elias digs deeper into what Ohio hospitals are seeing. The Ohio Hospital Association says its members are tired. Caregivers, especially if you're in the ICU, taking care of those patients around the clock, it definitely has taken the toll over the last 18 months. Um, mentally and physically, they're really frustrated, especially when we know we have vaccines that are effective. Monday night, all Toledo area hospitals reached a tipping point, forcing them to go on EMS bypass. That means they weren't accepting ambulances. I'm not really surprised about it because we have seen the increase in our numbers, but it is quite shocking to hear with emergencies occurring. Gina Musa is a nurse practitioner with Great Lakes Urgent Care in Perrysburg. They're seeing some of the overflow, and she says they should be an option when people need urgent medical care, care that doesn't require the ER. I want people to know that we're here for acute issues, not to always run to the ER. The ER is for emergency issues, people that are having strokes and heart attacks. We're here for the testing that can be done for urinary tract infections, for these different viruses that are going around. So what's driving this trend? What's pushing our hospitals to the brink? John Palmer with the Ohio Hospital Association says just last week, about 40% of hospitals in the state reported staffing needs. Really get to pretty serious situations with the intensive care units. And these are hospital services that are not just for COVID-19, they're really, you know, 24-7 operations that are designed to help with emergency services. And he says Ohio hospitals and what they're going through is not unique. Frankly, when beds aren't available, and we're seeing this happening in other states uh, in, 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 in the South, where waiting lists are now established for, for ICUs, they're actually looking at um, uh, crisis standard of care type plans of prioritizing patients. In Perrysburg, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11. And Great Lakes Urgent Care out there saying that you can call their offices if you are questioning how you feel. They say it usually takes about an hour to get you in and out of the door. We will make sure to post all of that information on our website.